Hey guys, this is God is Hello, well, good afternoon. Guys, I'm about to show you how to remove the ball joint. What you need first, jack the vehicle, and then put it, sit it on jack stand, and then put the tire under the car, and then you need a 21 millimeter for Land Rover 2014. So you need 21 millimeter to release the lug nuts. After you've done that, guys, you need an 18 millimeter, 18 millimeter socket, you know, so you have to release. It is depend what kind the ball joint you have. You could have a 19, 90 millimeter to release the upper ball joint. And then, and then after that, you need the 18 millimeter to release soy bar link. This is the soy bar link. And then you need a 12 millimeter. We need 12 e tox 12 e tox you put it on top of it here. You put it on top here, and then you turn the bolt, okay, to release it. After you release it, and then you need to put the vehicle on the jack stand right here, the tire, because you don't want to mess up the axle. So as soon as you release it, and then what you're looking for, you need this, guys. You have to go to Harbor Free, buy a kit or rent a kit from AutoZone for ball joint. Okay, you move a ball joint kit, you need that. So when you have it, this is the cap, removal cap, okay? This is the removal cap. So what I did, um, the ball joint is... Uh, is that something too easy to remove? So I cut the ball joint, okay? This is the ball joint, okay? It wasn't here, it was here. Sorry, it was here just like that, okay? I cut the tap to push it out because you know, when the ball joint has this thread, it's so hard to pull out. So what I did for easier, for more room, you cut it, you get a, you get a saw, you know, or whatever electric cutter, you cut that. When you cut that, so you need to put the scalp on top and then you need these tools right here. Okay, you need these tools. And then when you put it there with the adapter, so you push and you turn, you turn it clockwise. So you push it and then when it's go up and then pull, pull the, it's pull the, the, the boys went out. Okay, it's the same procedure when you take it off, you have to do the reversal. Okay, for the boys one, you do the reversal. So, Sometimes, some balls are so hard to put in. Sometimes you have to remove the boot if you don't want to mess up the boots. Sometimes, some balls when you have to remove the boots first, you put it in and after that you put the boots because you don't want to mess up the boots. So what I do, and then you could put it this way. This one, you don't have to mess up the boots. So, and then you get the different cup. So now remember, we do removal cup. So removal cup, now I don't need the removal cup. So now, you put it in, you need a longer cap for here. Okay, you're gonna need a longer cap. The longest cap you have, you put it here, and then you put the tools back again, and then you press it down, you tidy it up, you press it down, okay guys? This is the way I give you a heads up how to remove the ball joint. Pretty much easiest for you to do. Please guys, subscribe so I bring you more video because this vehicle, I'm about to do the, 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 the shocks, the strut, you know, the strut, it's a, uh, a spring so when i do that guys i give you an update also i'm gonna give you an update how to change the coil so i give you pretty much of this from this car thank you guys please subscribe thank you god bless you bye bye